think the beacon light going at Yarmouth, I really think it's great. Awesome. We need it. It's going to help a lot with the food truck nights, with the pedestrian walking across the street and the families and stuff. So it's going to really be nice because we have a lot of traffic here on Friday night and a lot of pedestrian walking across. And it's a lot safer for everybody in the long run. Very good idea, you know, because we have kids here, we have families, That's and, right. and they want to cross, you know, go and back and forth, and, and uh, it's a busy corner on Friday night. There. This is an extremely busy corner. It if is. If I can get them to come and shop in here, and <laughs> it'll be even better. But, yeah. Uh, but it is. At it's some point, we get up to almost a thousand people. All right. Through, That's true. You know. And, and then uh, it's, a, it's only gonna get busier as the summer gets here. Hey Jolene, what do you think about the beacon light being put in? That's fantastic. I was just crossing here the other day to go across the street and I almost got hit by a car, so this will be really nice. Good job. You know, it's, it's safety. You know, if you look at it, the whole thing. Yeah, we constantly have people crossing with strollers and they need that light, so that's important. What do you think about on Friday night when a lot of the food trucks are here and all the pedestrian and people are out? What do you think? By having... It'll bring a lot of safety to the whole, that's right. to the whole event, so that's good. We put the request in a month ago, and here it is, up here, up here already, already funded, already installed, and it's going to save lives and just make sure that this event, which we all love so much, continues to be safe. So, a round of applause for our DOT leaders and the community in Granada Hills. Thank you very much. I couldn't have done it without Mitch Engler, believe me. I mean, you got the high props to him because without him, we wouldn't have never done it. It would have never happened. Well, but, you know, we're thank, awesome. thankful and grateful for that. For sure. I mean, the most important thing is ensuring that we had something in place immediately to make it safer. And thank God we haven't had a major incident here yet. And I didn't want to wait for that to happen before we came up with this. We were very close with council office, and council office gave us so many requests. But they set the priority as a safety, and this was one of the top priority for them. That's the reason we did an expedite. The other, the other thing is, we're their favorite council office to work with. Yes, yeah. So, and uh, so we're blessed that uh, they have favorites. Most of the departments like working with our office the best, uh, whether it's you know the fire department, police department, department of transportation, sanitation. We've got great relationships with them, and that's why we get stuff done for this district. Well, thank you so much. Good job, guys. Great, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Jerry. Oh, this is cool. That's awesome that he's very invested in the community. He does a lot of things for all over LA, but especially he does a special job. Like looking at everything here, he lives here, people work here, kids go to school here. I mean, we all live in the community. He loves Granada Hills, so it's awesome. Yeah, the schools are good. The, the, all of the area, the whole area is really coming out really good now. It is. I love it. It's I'm booming I now. Too. So. The whole area is booming now. It's like more traffic, more everything. So it's awesome. Yeah.